Hello everyone and welcome back to Bird Nerd. Today we're going to be discussing one of the biggest enemies of anyone with a bird feeder. No, it's not squirrels. European starlings, also known as common starlings, come through in giant flocks and bully away any other birds at the feeders before gobbling down all the seed. Now, even though they're not loved by everyone, they are still fascinating birds. So, without ado, let's learn about them. European starlings can be found in small patches on all the continents, except for Antarctica, but they are mainly found on Europe and North America. Although they are found nearly across the entire continent, European starlings are not native to North America, as they were brought in the 19th century by a Shakespeare enthusiast whose goal was to bring every bird, and I mean every bird Shakespeare had ever mentioned in any of his works. The original 60 starlings that were brought over have now become millions. So, yeah. European starlings are a robin-sized bird with short tails. Their plumage appears completely black from a distance, but close up they are much more detailed. Breeding adult European starlings' feathers have a greenish-purplish iridescence, while non-breeding or immature birds are covered in white spots. Their bills are a yellowish color, although they may turn darker in winter. Overall, they are pretty sharp-looking birds. European starlings will eat about everything they can, but if they are available, they will try to focus mainly on insects. Other foods that they consume includes about everything from wild fruits to trash. If you want to bring these guys to feeders, it's not hard. In fact, they will eat everything. And beware, they will eat, indeed everything. The other day, I had a flock of nearly a hundred come through and empty all my feeders. I don't appreciate it, starlings. Share! If you are interested in seeing a video on how to keep these guys away from feeders, let me know in the comments down below. To begin the nesting process, the male European starling chooses a nest site, then attempts to attract a female by singing and flapping their wings in circles. The nest is pretty much in always some sort of cavity. Whether that's in a street light or an old woodpecker cavity, it really does not matter to the European starling. Once a sufficient nest site is selected, the male will begin building the nest by filling the cavity with pine needles, grass, feathers, and human trash. When the nest is done, the female will check it out and possibly make some small changes. After that, she will lay about three to six bluish or greenish white eggs, which are incubated for 12 days by both the birds. After hatching, the babies have grayish feathers and are pretty much helpless as their eyes stay shut for about a week after hatching. Juvenile starling's feathers will appear more gray or spotted than breeding adults, even for a while after they leave the nest. Starlings are often ground foragers and can be spotted in open areas, often foraging with other species such as grackles or cowbirds. There are many behavioral cues that European starlings use to communicate, but the most common is agitation. When they're agitated, they will express this by flicking their wings and raising their tail feathers. If they are angry at another starling, they will do the same behavioral cues, except they will also stare at them intently while standing straight. If the opponent submisses, they will crouch back and move away with their feathers flat. But if they don't, this can often result in the birds charging at one another and resting while stabbing each other with their long beaks. I know, such friendly birds. So we've established that they are aggressive towards one another, but big surprise, they're also aggressive towards other birds. I know, shocking. They will drive species such as eastern bluebirds, wood ducks, tree swallows, and northern flickers from a nesting site that they want to use for themselves. So watch out if you have a nest box. Video on those coming soon. Watch out for starlings. European starlings are not considered endangered and are of low concern. With such a recent arrival to North America, their population sure has grown. This just goes to show the resilience and ingenuity of these, eh, scratch that, scratch all that, aggressive birds. In 2003, there was a study done on the effect of starlings on native North American birds. Luckily, the study showed that most bird species seem to be holding out against the nest-stealing tendencies of the European starlings, but unluckily, sapsuckers had a decline in population due to starlings. That is all I have for you in this video. I hope you learned something that you did not know before about these birds. 
If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time on Bird Nerd.